AI engineering is set to explode in 2025 and beyond. From autonomous agents that can do your job to generative models powering billion dollar startups. The AI wave is no longer coming, it's already here. And if you're wondering how to ride that wave, you're in the right place. In this video, we will guide you through everything you need to become an AI engineer step by step. We will cover what AI engineering is today, what to learn, the tools you need to master, which specializations are trending, and how to actually land a job with a portfolio. But before we begin, please like, share, and subscribe. And remember to hit the bell icon to stay updated on the latest tech content from Edureka's YouTube channel. Also, check out Edureka's Generative AI course master's program that helps you master the principles of generative AI and implement them in real-world applications. This course includes training on artificial intelligence, Python programming, data science, natural language processing, generative AI, prompt engineering, chat GPT, and much more. This course includes 5 plus hands-on projects to help you apply what you learn in real-world scenarios. The curriculum is meticulously designed by industry experts based on an analysis of 5000 plus global job description. So check out the course link given in the description box below. So let's start by understanding what exactly is an AI engineer. An AI engineer role centers on developing and deploying practical applications driven by artificial intelligence. We are discussing everything from chatbots and recommendation systems to AI tutors, fraud detection models, and even fully autonomous agents that manage entire workflows. Now you might be wondering how this differ from a data scientist or an ML engineer. And here's the key. Data scientists focus more on analysis and insights, whereas ML engineers are usually centered around model training and optimization. But AI engineers go full stack, like they handle everything from data pre-processing to model deployment and sometimes even building the user interface for AI-powered app. And here's the exciting part. Roles such as Generative AI Engineer or LLM App Developer now comes with substantial hikes, especially at remote first startup and in high demand markets like Silicon Valley. So now before we touch any neural networks or fancy LLMs, we have to get your fundamentals solid. So now we are going to discuss some of the core foundations. First. Start by learning Python inside and out. Understand how to write clean, modular code using functions and classes. And make use of list comprehensions, decorators, and APIs. This shows up in every AI project. Then move on to Git and shell scripting. This will help you version control your work and automate repetitive tasks like data cleaning or model training. So when it comes to math, don't worry. You don't need to become a mathematician. But you need a working understanding of linear algebra to understand vectors and matrices, probability to handle predictions and distributions, and just a bit of calculus, mainly derivatives to make sense of how learning works inside neural networks. Data structures and algorithms are important too, not for the sake of interviews alone, but because they are the foundation of writing performant and scalable code. So make sure you're comfortable with arrays, hash maps, trees, and basic search algorithms like BFS and BFS. Finally, get familiar with the development tools you will actually use every day. Most AI engineers work on VS Code, Jupyter Notebook, and Google Colab. These are your labs where all your experimentation happens. Now with your foundation in place, it's time to learn the essentials of machine learning. So moving on to AI and ML essentials. So start with the big three paradigms. Supervised learning, where your model learns from labeled data like predicting house prices based on square footage. And unsupervised learning where it finds hidden patterns in unlabeled data like grouping similar news articles. And finally, reinforcement learning where an agent learns by interacting with its environment such as game bots or self-driving car logic. To make all of this work, you will be using code Python libraries. So scikit-learn helps you train models easily and pandas lets you analyze data and matplotlib is great for visualizing the results. Then bring it all together by building some hands-on projects. So try creating a survival prediction model using the Titanic dataset or build a handwriting digit recognizer with the MNIST dataset. So you could also try a regression model that predicts house prices based on real estate data. So these projects teach you more than just theory. They teach you the process of thinking like an AI engineer. All right. Now let's level up to deep learning. So this is where things get really exciting. First start by understanding how neural networks actually work. You will explore the architecture behind the AI brain 
from how it receives inputs and process them through layers of neurons to how it adjusts its weight to improve performance. And from there, dive into convolutional neural networks or CNNs, which are amazing for image related tasks like detecting cats in photos or analyzing medical scans. Then move on to recurrent neural networks or RNNs, which are useful for sequential data like speech, time series, or language modeling. As far as frameworks go, PyTorch remains the top choice in 2025. It's intuitive, flexible, and has a massive open source community. But TensorFlow still holds ground, especially for deployment on mobile and edge devices using TensorFlow Lite. So to practice build real-world deep learning projects, try training on object detector using YOLO, and build an NLP classifier that detects sentiment in tweets. Or develop a simple voice command recognizer using audio signal turned into spectrograms. All right. Now at this point, you're ready to specialize. And this is where your career truly takes shape. So if you're into cutting edge tech, go for generative AI. So you will work with models like GPT, Llama, and Stable Diffusion, building apps that can write code or create art. So if language and text excites you, then dive into NLP, where you can build advanced chatbots using transformers or build knowledge retrieval tools with frameworks like LangChain. And if you're more visual, go for computer vision. You will work with OpenCV for real-time filters and object detection models like YOLO V8 to analyze video footage. And there are fantastic resources to go deep in any of these areas. This specialization will not only help you in 2025, but also till the age of AI. So now, let's talk about getting noticed. So for that, you need to build a portfolio. So start by uploading your projects to GitHub, making sure each one has a clean readme with visuals and usage instructions. A polished repo shows you're serious. So then share your work publicly. Write LinkedIn post explaining what your AI model does, why it's useful, and how you can build it. Even short threads or blog posts can get you right eyes on your profile. And great project ideas include building an AI podcast summarizer, a travel planner that uses LLMs, or a resume analyzer that scores based on keyword and skills. And don't forget to contribute to open source. Even a small bug fix in LangChain or a new dataset on Hugging Face can build your reputation. You can also enter Kaggle competition to test your skills in real-world scenarios. So let's bring it all together. So first, you need to start with your foundation, Python, Math, and ML theory, and then build a simple project to solidify your knowledge. And from there, you need to dive into deep learning, pick specialization, and then how to deploy your models, and most importantly, share your work publicly. So with this, we have come to an end to this video on AI engineering learning path for 2025 and beyond. And if you enjoyed listening to this video, please be kind enough to like it and you can comment on any of your doubts and queries. We will reply to them at the earliest. And do look up for more videos and playlists and subscribe to Edureka's YouTube channel to learn more. Thank you for watching and happy learning.